Hello everyone. So now we will be starting with installing Python and VS Code. So don't worry if you don't have installed Python in your system. We will be guiding you throughout the whole process and we will start with installation of Python and then VS Code. So to install Python first we have to download it. So for that what I will do that I will just google that Python download. And after that I will search it. So to install Python I will go to the official website of the python that is python.org so here we can see that download python 3.10.4 okay so this is the actually the latest version of the python you can download even the older version also that is available here but i would recommend you to download the latest version of the python okay so i will actually download it on my desktop so i'm going to download it here and uh, it is going to take some time so Let's wait till seven seconds. Okay, it is showing eight seconds. So I hope it will be installed soon. So after installation, we will just uh, double click on it and it will get uh, installed in our system. Okay, so I have double click on it. So now it is asking that what kind of installation I want. I want whether uh, install now or customize the installation. Okay, so first of all, I will recommend you to add this Python path okay so i will install it like install now and it is asking me that whether i allow this uh, application to make changes in my system or not so yeah i'm going to allow it so it will take some time to get installed till then what we will do that we will download vs code so for that we have to search that vs code download okay so we will go to the official website that code.visualstudio.com and from here we will download the 64 bit window uh, vs code okay so here we can see that uh, we can click on this 64 bit and it will give us like uh, the exe file to download so i'm going to download it and again it is going to take some time so till then we will check that where is our python so you can see that uh, python has been installed and here it is saying that uh, setup was successful and new to python start with online tutorial okay so if you want, you can take this course, uh, this online tutorial, or if you don't want, uh, there is one digital path length limit, changes your machine configuration to allow program encoding Python to bypass the 260 character. So we will ignore this for now and I will close it. And to check that whether Python has been installed in my system or not, what I will do that I will go to PowerShell. Okay. So what do you have to do that? You have to, uh, open the window powershell and here what you have to write that you have to write python okay so here you can see that it is showing that yeah uh, python uh, the latest version of the python has been installed and to check that whether python is working or not so i can use it as a calculator okay so let me show you 4 plus 3 okay if python is installed it will give the result yeah you can see here it is showing that 7 4 plus 3 7 okay and to come out of it what i will do that we have to just press uh control x i guess no uh okay to come out of it we have to call the exit function exit exit and yeah let me check yeah uh okay now i am out of the python interpreter and uh, now the path is like uh, user and then amish okay so we have checked that yes python has been installed and it is working also now we will install vs code studio so for that i will just double click on this exe file and yeah i have to accept the license at agreement and after that doing next 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 we'll install it okay so just keep it as it is don't change anything just uh check this add path if you have not then after that install okay so it will take uh, some time uh, it might take one or two minutes uh, depending upon your system speed uh, to get installed so mine i think it will be get installed now okay yeah so it is installed okay so you can see and it is uh, auto opening also okay so there are some settings required in this vs code uh okay so for that what i have to do that i have to just uh click on this wheel icon and after that i go to the setting okay and in that setting what do you have to do that search for the zoom okay so i have searched for the zoom and you can see here uh if it, it is unchecked for you I am just checking it. You can ignore this setting also just because I have to zoom the syntax to show you uh, like it, it should be proper visual to you. That's why I am checking it. Okay. So for me, it is okay. 
I have checked it and after that one extension we have to install so for that go to this uh, extension and in that search for code runner okay so code runner is a uh, extension i will show you what it does so code runner basically enable one play icon here using that we can run our code so i am going to install it and you can see i i have installed it and here this play icon has been uh, enabled okay and after that what i i want to do that one more setting i want to enable and in that like here i have came okay just a minute and i have to just remove this zoom and uh, in that here this come to this uh, extension and in this extension just come run code configuration and in this run code configuration just uh try yeah run in terminal just check that this run in terminal is enabled for you okay if it is enabled for you that's fine if it's not enabled you have to just check this to make it enable okay and after that we are all set so i'm just closing it thank you so much we'll meet in next video